Once joined to an object, the skylight can be moved around and as long as it stays within the footprint of that object, it will remain joined to that object. Here I'm moving the skylight over to the right in a side view up further on the roof and it will stay joined to that object and keep itself on the surface of the object when it's regenerated. And that also includes the hole cutting, as you can see here, also moves along with it. The geometry will also adjust itself, extending and trimming two multiple roof slopes within a single roof object. As you can see here, And also, if the object is actually dragged outside the footprint of the roof object, it will detach itself from it and bring back uh, more of a default setting of the uh, bottom of the subconstruction and lining. Um, and if it's brought over top of the uh, roof again, as long as it's within its footprint, it will join itself back up to it as long as the auto join option is checked on. In addition to the joining, there are some controls on how the object is joined to the object. I'm going to switch to wireframe view here and you'll see here we have a, uh, a cut hold down to option and what that means, it's under subconstruction, is it's talking about the hole defined by the inside of the subconstruction. And it allows you to either cut that hole down to the top face, which means you're not cutting it down at all, or you're going to cut it down to the bottom face of the roof object. And when you do that, you'll see the hole cut line show up right here. So now it's cut the subconstruction hole completely down to the bottom and you'll actually see a gap in the lining in this, in this way. But there may be times that you want to have some more control over that cut. Um, in addition, this join lining to option allows you to keep the lining trimmed to the top face or the bottom face of the roof object. This works very similar with uh, roof objects and roof face objects, but is a little bit more uh, in-depth control with the uh, slab objects. Here's a side view of a uh, skylight in a slab object, and we have the slab uh, containing five different components um, and over here you'll see these pop-ups here to join sub subconstruction two and it's got a, a total of six different indexes um, the uh, the first one is the top face of the top component then the second one would be the top face of the second component all the way down to the fifth component uh, the sixth index indicates the bottom of the fifth component or the bottom of the slab. So here we've actually trimmed or extended the subconstruction all the way down to the bottom face of the slab. So this gives you complete control over which component the subconstruction joins to. Um, in addition to that, we have that same hole, cut hole down to pop up, has all six uh, component options again. And you can see here it's cutting down to the third component, whereas the sub construction comes down to the second. So you can see that line of the hole drop down here, like so. So if we wanted to cut that down further, we could cut down to, let's say, the uh, fourth component like that um, but still have the lining hole cut down lower so now you can actually see here 
this highlighted line, vertical line, is cutting down here to make up for the the uh, extension of the subconstruction. Then the uh, slab comes over to this point, uh, which is the inside face of the subconstruction, and then it comes over to the lining hole here. So it gives you a little bit more control. And uh, let me put some angles on here. You'll get a little better feel. And let's cut into it and uh, render it. So this gives you a good feel for what it allows you to do. Okay. So uh, when inserting to the slab, you have more options, um, and that's because slabs have a little more capabilities than roof face and roof objects. So um, we hope in the future that uh, the uh, roof objects will catch up with the same uh, capabilities. Not only can a, a skylight be joined to a single object, but the lining can actually be joined to a separate object. This allows for more complex situations where you may have a, a, a roof inserted object and you want the lining to come down to a ceiling below. So in this instance, I have a roof object here, the skylight's inserted into it, and we have a dropped ceiling here that we'd like the lining to go down to. In this case, we can click on the join lining button. And when we do that, we can select the desired object to join the lining to. And the lining comes down to that. Optionally, you can right click on the object and use this Velux join lining command. So when we join to both of those objects, now we've got holes that are actually cut in all objects uh, joined to the skylight, allowing you to see completely through. The subconstruction can also be joined to other objects using the Join Subconstruction button, and uh, that also has an equivalent contextual menu command here. Um, to demonstrate, I have a file here with several different objects stacked on each other, and uh, currently the subconstruction is joined to this roof object, and the lining is joined to this ceiling object. Uh, made from a slab. So if I right click on the skylight, I can just choose this command here to join subconstruction and I can highlight a new object. When that joins to a new object, the lining will also join to the same new object and uh, that can be rejoined to another object again using the join lining command. 